The country just concluded National Arts Month last February, and boy, if there was ever time we need art, it's now. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts stepped up in its nation healing role by calling it Alabsining Alay Sigla. An artist once told me that 2021 is an exciting year for exhibits showcasing quarantine art, but none prepared the nation for the unveiling of the largest abstract painting. No, the largest painting ever in our history. Alam Singing by Lloyd Tronco. It's a billboard size 62 feet high by 40 feet wide hoisted in Edson Ortigas Avenue where the POEA office is. Billboards are considered commercial art, by the way. Its creator knows a thing or two about them as his family had been in the outdoor advertising industry for decades until the pandemic forced its closure. His labor of love is a huge punctuation period to that chapter in his life. But it will be a waste to have Lloyd Tronco's work appreciated only for its size. It is, after all, a work of art with meanings and messages for us. So, what do you see? I immediately saw a koala bear. A friend saw a bull at the top, a rooster in the middle, and a cockroach at the bottom. Another saw a chopper on a mission to rescue a submerged vehicle. I continued to absorb myself in the work and felt chills when I saw the Philippines in the drug war with the blue, red, and yellow almost surrounded by white powder. I also saw a chalk body outline with a gun lying beside it. The weapon slowly morphs into a camera. I don't know what the artist's vision was when he created Ala Bansini. Did he intend to show farm animals, the rescue mission, or the state of our nation? Or have my friends and I sent him wondering what the heck we're talking about? Regardless, I believe he has shown us the essence of art. Make us see, feel, and think. Seeing, feeling, and thinking make us feel alive, which is essential, especially during this time where death seems to mock us at a spitting distance. To feel alive is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.